Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Gooden Cassius for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Anthony Joshua. How are you, mate, first of all? All is well, thank you very much. How are you? I'm all right. You look well. Yeah? I don't know what to say. You look well too. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I don't know how long we've got, so let's roll straight into yeah. it. Josh, what happened with you and Dubois at the face-off? Apparently, you said you were going to throw a chair at him, or especially with a chair. Ah, oh, it's all like... Uh, basically, long story short, <laughs> he's like, let's go, let's fight, this, that. I said, there's a difference between boxing and Queensby rules, and there's a difference between fighting in a, in a hall. I'll pick up a chair and I'll smash it over your face. Just relax. Let's go. Let's go. Was it Dominic Brazil vibes? What, from my end? From my end, yeah. And I remember that. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's game. He's game. It's good. It's good. Josh, yes, uh, Du Bois' last two performances have brought him into the mix of all you heavyweights now. Yeah. The wins against Baby Miller yeah. and Hergovic yeah. makes him like legitimately, if you or anyone. He's a fuck. He's a good fighter. The worst thing anyone can do is underestimate anyone anyway, so, and the Bois a good fighter, so we're going to give him the respect he deserves. And especially coming off those two wins, as you said, we have to look at him and say, you know what, he's a serious fighter. So um, in this game, that's what competition is about. It's bringing two guys together and seeing who the best one is. And the Bois is my opponent, so I've got to give him the ultimate respect. And as I said, watching him when I was out in uh, Saudi, I said, yeah, the, he knows what he's doing. He can fight. He definitely can fight. That was the first time watching him live. He can fight. The, the icing on the cake, the IBF title is on the line. What did you think of Usyk's video he put out to announce that? Let me see it. Wait there. He's a G. He's a G. I, I, I give credit where credit's due. He's a G. Your chance to become three-time heavyweight world champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really looking at it like that. This one, not yet, because I want to do a lot of good work first. Because uh, the championship's so far away. So I want to do a lot of good work and bring myself closer to that before I see it as a reality. I've got to do a lot of hard work over the next 12 weeks. Josh, I haven't asked you about this. Um, you didn't really say too much after the fight in Saudi, but what did you make of Usyk's win over Fury and Fury's performance in that? What did you make of it? I said, I said Usyk will win. I said that from 2023. I do think Fury's a good fighter. And there's levels. And uh, a, a cruiserweight nearly knocked him out. He nearly knocked out Fury. Um, so what I say with Daniel, you've got to learn from these situations, from Fury situations. I don't think he underestimated him, but what he was saying, you're a middleweight, you're this, you're that, just goes to show you never play, you never like downplay a fighter. You kind of you should give them the credit they deserve to make sure that you don't go in there thinking I'm going to bully someone. And next minute, you know, the tables could turn in the fight. So uh, who's it part of a good performance? Fury, maybe you should give him the respect he deserves next time and he might put on a better performance. Can he beat him in the rematch? Me personally, what I think, nah, no way. Nah. You didn't see enough of Fury's performance to suggest that he could be in both few things right and be in. Sorry, but, oh, I don't. I didn't see enough. Yeah, you see. Um, it's not. That I didn't see enough. I just don't think that. I think Fury's good. You saw some good moments. I just don't think he can do it. I'm gonna go and do my way in. Yeah. Go on. So yeah, it's not that I don't rate Fury. I think Fury's good, got himself to that position. I just don't think that he's better than Usyk. Listen, last question, you know, September 21st, full focus on that, but is the plan for you to fight Tyson Fury next year? I'm not focused on Fury, honestly. I know it's a cliche thing to say, but um, let me focus on, let me focus on just getting in the gym and get training. That's what I said, like right now, this is the first press conference we've done with so much time before a fight, you know, so right now, I'm not really worrying about Fury. Like normally we do press conferences eight weeks out and I'm in fight mode. Right now, I'm 
just simmering, simmering, simmering. So I'm not focused on Fury. Still coming to grips with being at Wembley, fighting for the IVF title, fighting a great fighter in Daniel, um, having to go through the trenches and training camp. Like I'm gonna have to take myself to places that I ain't been before if I wanna win. This is championship level boxing, so I ain't worried about Fury yet. I'm thinking about what I gotta go through. We've been chasing that fight for ages as well. How's Ben Davison added to your game? Um, how to explain it in short? He's the right coach. He's the right coach. You get some coaches that don't work for you, some coaches that do work for you. He's one of the right coaches. You know what I mean? Obviously, Dubois being trained by someone you know very well with Don, Don Charles. Charles. Phenomenal coach as well. Um, Phenomenal coach, and and whether and this is what I'm saying this is why it's going to be a tough fight because coaches 100% make a difference. You know, in football, if players aren't delivering, they don't get rid of the the, the starting eleven, do they? They get rid of the coach, in it, yeah. So for me, a coach makes a massive difference. I remember when everyone was like, Josh has moved coaches two times, and it's all about his hunger. It's not about a coach. 100%, it's all about a coach. You need motivating. You need someone to give you guidance. So Ben Davison, I'm glad that I've gone there before this fight because. I feel confident in the, in the setup I'm in, in order to be victorious. Have you been watching England? I watched one game. I watched the one where they won 1 0. Bellingham scored the header. Yeah, yeah. Have they played since? They played another two games. They played another two games. They've drawn both 0 0. Do you, can they still win it? Sorry, 1 1 0 0. Can they still win it? They won the group. They Did they? The, so they're in the next stage? The last 16, yeah. The last 16, so they can still win it? Yeah, Bob, get behind the team, innit? He's getting a bit of stick about having been playing. Yeah, of so. course they're taking stick. That's what he, people do. So, forget the stick. It is what it is. Go out there and win it. Like, come on. They can still do it. Yeah, bro. Take the stick. Laugh last. England team need to be like, you know, we're going to laugh last. You go, go. Come on, England. Come on, man. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.